Here at Saddlebrook Tennis Academy, some of the best tennis players in the world on the ATP Tour. Coming here to train, Ryan Sweeting, one of them. How do you like training here in beautiful Wesley Chapel? Oh, you can't beat it. It's first thing in the morning right now. The sun's, sun's out, hot weather, perfect conditions to train in here at Saddlebrook. The courts, a lot of players to play with. The training facilities right there, you can't beat it. One of the best places in, in the world to train. You know, James Blake here, John Isner. So you guys really keep each other humble. Some of the best guys in the world going at it on the practice court. Absolutely. You can't find it anywhere else in the world, especially in the U.S. Uh, you got James, John, Alex, Brendan, uh, Amir, uh, myself. There's just a, always a group of guys here to push you, to help you work, and to you know just sort of have fun with on the on the practice court every single week. So uh, it's it's for me the place to come and train. And your career is going great right now. Remember you beat Vince Spadia many years ago over at the Pilot Pen and now here you are a veteran almost on the tour, a young veteran I should say, <laughs> uh, you know, growing and uh, playing in the main draw of the French Open. Tough match with uh, Juan Ignacio Chela. Looking forward to other Grand Slams. Yeah, you know, looking forward to a few bigger more bigger tournaments this year. It's been a good year so far. I don't, I don't want to say I'm a veteran quite yet. I wouldn't be too happy uh, with my career if it was over, if it was over today. But uh, yeah, hopefully a lot of a lot more positive things to go uh, this year and in the years to come. I've uh, been playing, uh, been playing well in the French and uh, in Australia, and got Wimbledon coming up in a couple weeks. And uh, just trying to keep it going, man. Working hard and trying to get that ranking up. What's your training regimen like here at Saddlebrook? I mean, you're really a world class one, but it's what you do off the court that really makes the difference on the court. That's why I think Saddlebrook is one of the one of the better places to train because uh, not only are there a great group of guys to practice with on the court, but uh, in the in the gym and in the training facilities, uh, the group of guys, Jason and Kyle and Kevin, uh, the off-court training and fitness that we do is just world-class and uh, it gets us in the best shape for the three out of five setters for these Grand Slams and uh, I think that's what's been making the difference with all the players that have been training here because all of them are seeming to be doing pretty well. What are your goals finally on the court? You know, coming up in your career, really, what are your goals? Uh, you know, my goals are to just get my ranking as high as I possibly can, playing main draws of slams and getting far in the slams. I think that's every tennis player's goal right now is to do well in the slams and to and to get their ranking as high as it possibly possibly could be at the end of the year. And uh, just a very busy, busy, good schedule uh, this year. And you know, everyone's working hard. Everyone's tired. It's the middle of the year right now, so everyone's just looking for that second win and you know just trying to trying to find right now to push through well ryan sweeting best of luck having a good time training here at saddlebrook all right appreciate it thanks Harry Chickmo alongside American great and international great John Isner. He's a great college legend, and now he's going to take that to World Team Tennis, playing for Bihar and the Boston Lobsters. So uh, that's pretty exciting for you to, to go on those colored courts. You know, they're different colored courts, a lot of fans cheering, playing in Boston. Yeah, it's uh, I've never done it before, and I'm excited to, to be a part of the be a part of the Lobster team. It's going to be a great experience for me. Uh, you know, I've seen it on TV, obviously, and the atmosphere is, is really uh, very similar to that of college tennis, which, which is what I like, which is why I spent four years in college. So, uh, you know, Bahar asked me to play, and, you know, I jumped at, uh, jumped at the opportunity. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, and hopefully I can uh, bring some uh, success to the Boston team. And the fact that it's in Boston, I mean, these sports fans are hungry. I don't care if you're playing tiddlywinks tennis yeah. or the Red Sox at Fenway Park. I mean, you're playing in a great sports market. Yeah, you are, uh, and championships have been won there, and... A lot of them recently, really, with obviously the Patriots, the Red Sox, and uh, and whatnot, and the Celtics. You know, they're they're battling it out right now. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, the the Lobsters can uh, can do the same. How about James Blake? Your friends playing. I mean, you're not going to be on the same team at the same time, yeah. but you're still battling for that Billie Jean Cup in the end. So that's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, it is. Uh, he's got a lot of Boston roots. Obviously, going up to school, uh, going to going to school up there. Uh, you know, I'm excited to to be a part of the team with him. I think. Uh, with uh, myself and James on the team, the we, you know we should have a we should have a great chance to do well. And, uh, final question: What do you think about the fans cheering? You know, I mean they're cheering, they're yelling at you, and what do you think about that? I, I love it personally. Uh, whether you're on the road or we're at home in, in Boston, uh, it's a uh, it's a great atmosphere. It's it's very you know we don't see that that often on the pro tour. It's kind of kind of reserved, and the fans are you know like to keep quiet during the points and in between points, but uh, but not so much for all team tennis, which is uh, what makes it so unique. Representing Billie Jean King too. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's uh, obviously one of the true legends of the game, and what she's done with, with uh, WTT has, has been awesome. John Isner, member of the Boston Lobsters, also top 20 in the world. We'll see him on the courts in Boston. I'm Harry Chickman with John Isner.
Well, it's not very often that I have a backdrop like this, but I'm at the oldest tennis courts in the world, the casino at Newport, the home of the International Tennis Hall of Fame. And my name is Bud Collins, and I'm trying to sell you a few things, too, about tennis, because I've just come out with the Bud Collins History of Tennis. And it tells you everything that happened since the first Wimbledon in 1877. We're at the Hall of Fame, and we had a great time with the injunctions, particularly Brad Parks, who was the first wheelchair champion to be inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame. And we had a great time. We had three Australians, the Woodies, and we had Dave O, as they call him, O.K. Davidson, a wonderful women's doubles team from Belarus, Natasha Zvereva, and a Puerto Rican-American, Gigi Fernandez. Now they're all in the Hall of Fame, and they're in my book. Well, you just get the Bud Collins history of tennis. It doesn't cost too much. You have to be kind of strong because it's heavy. There's a lot of stuff in it. So we made it just as we thought it should be made. And anytime you have a chance to come here to Newport, the casino, because this place dates back to 1880 and the first U.S. championship in 1881. So when you come here and get my book, you are immersed in this wonderful game of tennis. Welcome back to World Tennis, presented by Saddlebrook Resort and Saddlebrook.com. I'm your host, Harry Chickma, alongside the great James Blake. Beautiful place. The Super Bowl right in back of us, Super Pool. And you had a nice workout earlier today with your fellow Americans. So how's your game going? Uh, things are going great. Uh, my knee is improving. I feel 100% healthy. So I'm, uh, I'm getting back to hopefully the level I was at uh, when I was top 10 in the world. And I want to, uh, I want to prove that I can do that again. What are your goals now? I mean, obviously, I can imagine you want to win, you know, a Grand Slam, which you've come so close, you have the game to do it. But what are your goals overall in your career? Uh, my goals are the same as they were when I started. I want to I want to continue to improve. And when I'm done, I want to have no regrets. I want to hang up my rackets and feel good about everything I did. I put in all the work. And right now, I'm at that point. I'm putting in all the work I can. And I'm, I'm preparing for every tournament uh, as, as well as I possibly can. And, um, and I feel good about it. It's just, you know, there are little setbacks with injuries all the time. But I feel very good about uh, the way I'm playing and the way I can play. Final question, what's the best memory of your career so far? I remember you played Agassi in that five-set epic, 7-6 in the fifth, Leighton Hewitt, some good matches. You beat Federer in Beijing over there in the Olympics. I mean, those are good memories for me as a tennis supporter, but what's your best memory so far? I think my best memory has got to be winning the Davis Cup. Um, in 2007 with Andy Roddick and the Bryan Twins, just the, the camaraderie of that team, how much fun we had, and the support we had from, from all of the guys, the Marty Fish, John Isner, Sam Querrey, Robbie Ginepri, all those guys were, were so helpful uh, in, in that year. And uh, for me to win a big match over Michael Usney, and then Andy to, to beat Tersonoff, who had beaten him the year before in Davis Cup, and then the Bryans clinch it the way they do so well. And, and just uh, to celebrate with a team. You don't get that opportunity very often in tennis. And, and to be so proud of what, what we accomplished that year was, uh, was an unbelievable feeling. James Blake, great to see you doing well. Thanks. James Blake, thanks for joining us here, and that wraps up this week's edition of World Tennis, presented by Saddlebrook and Saddlebrook.com. For the rest of the staff, I'm Harry Chickma. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again on World Tennis.